Welcome to the RPS version 6.14.100 release overview, where we will review some of the key features and updates. Features include improvements to navigation, increased security for user passwords and accessing diagnostics, and improved options for database migration, at upgrade, and initial installation. Navigation improvement. Users can navigate more efficiently by directly typing double-digit selections and inputting values into fields, reducing the need for repetitive actions and enhancing usability. You can navigate the fields with keyboard arrows, select a field by hitting the Enter button, and type in the field all right from the keyboard, without a mouse. The selected and editable fields are highlighted in blue. Operator Password this feature allows administrators to set password policies for different operator levels, enforcing password rules and prompting users to change their passwords according to the policy. An admin logs in and pulls up the operator list. Under System Configuration, there is a new tab labeled Password Policy. Here you can see the options available for creating a unique password policy for operators. Options include Minimum password length. Validity period. Include at least one special character. Include at least one number. At least one uppercase character. And make the new password unique from the last password. You can also click the button to force all password changes at next login. This will prompt all RPS operators at their next login to change their password and conform to the set password rules. RPS will also force operators to change their individual password at next login whenever their password is edited using the RPS operator data edit menu. The system records the date and time the changes were made. This increases the security of your organization, ensuring that the operator is the only one that knows their unique password. Secure Diagnostics Security permissions now govern the ability to use diagnostic service bypass functionality, ensuring that only authorized users can access and utilize these features. In System Configuration, under the Security tab, an option called Diagnostic Advanced has been added. By adding a security level here, you can control who has the ability to access service bypass capabilities within the Diagnostics menu of the system. Employees that simply turn a system on and off do not need the authority to service bypass a point. By granting authority levels and permissions to your employees, you can exercise greater control over your protected areas. In addition, the activity log now shows who, when, and what was service bypassed. A user that does not have the authority level to service bypass a point will receive a notification that they do not have permission to perform this action. Install Upgrade RPS. When you download and install the new version of RPS from the website, RPS would back up during an upgrade by default. Some customers do not have the disk space or need for this, so we are now making the backup optional. This new feature in RPS enhances your upgrade experience. Now, during the installation process, you'll be prompted to choose whether you want to perform a backup. This gives you the flexibility to decide if the backup is necessary. When you launch the setup.exe file, the progress of updating panel records is tracked. Once the upgrade begins, if any panel records have failed during the RPS update, they will be logged. Upgrade Database For customers who want to use the Upgrade Database feature within RPS, click Config, then System, and click on the Upgrade Database button. A new pop-up window will outline the steps of the process, with the option to create a database backup or not. This enhances user awareness of ongoing processes and potential failures. Similar to the setup.exe upgrade of RPS, a checklist for the database upgrade is displayed. The steps are checked off, and any panel account records that fail to update are recorded. The RPS install and upgrades will continue if panel or template upgrades errors occur. Errored panels will be logged, tracked, and controlled. While the physical panel will continue to operate, 
select RPS remote operations for that panel, such as sending new programming, duplicating, or exporting, will not be allowed. RPS has methods to attempt fixing an errored account record. For example, RPS will automatically attempt to fix whenever the panel account is opened, and also during a panel connection when synchronizing the panel programming to overwrite RPS. Click the View and Fix button to review a complete list of panels and templates that remain in an error state after the last upgrade activity. The statement at the top of the window will tell you that the default values of new panel programming parameters could not be automatically set. In the RPS Panel Account Records window, you can select a panel and click the Fix button and manually attempt to fix the errors found. These enhancements not only improve usability, but also bolster system security, providing you with a more robust and secure experience overall.